If you have the W3 Total Cash plugin installed on your WordPress site, you've probably seen an option for a CDN. So a CDN is a content delivery network which makes your website faster. Um, it basically lets your content travel faster by using multiple servers that are closer to your visitor's location. So if you have a visitor in New York but your server is in California, a CDN will use servers that are closer to your visitor to deliver your content. So that can make your WordPress site a lot faster and I recommend Mac CDN because both their product and support are really good. And if you are following my blog tutorial then you'll see I provided a link with a Mac CDN co coupon which will reduce your price to uh, these prices right here. So go ahead and sign up for a plan. And one thing I want to point out is that if you're not targeting Australia or Asia or Australia, then you can remove that, which should re significantly reduce the price. So go ahead and sign up, and when you're done, I'm going to uh, proceed to the next step. So when you're done signing up with your plan, you're going to come to a dashboard. And the first thing we're going to want to do is create a poll zone. So click Zones, Create Poll Zone, and then you can just label this whatever you want, as well as this, and this is going to be your website. So go ahead and create it. I'm going to cancel just because I already created one and I'm going to use that one. But when you do create it, you're going to come to a, this dashboard. So now that you've created a poll zone, go ahead and right click account, open link in new tab. And scroll down and under API you'll see view all. Create application. You can just label this whatever you want. Same thing with this. And you don't need an application or a callback URL. So just go ahead and click register application. And just like the poll zone I already created one so I'm going to go into the one I already created. but you'll come to this screen. Now that you have things like the consumer key and the secret and the poll zone, you can go into W3 Total Cash and enter that information. So under the general settings right here, the first thing you want to do is make sure database cache is enabled or disabled. You want database cache disabled. And then you want object cache enabled as long as it doesn't mess with your website, which you probably, um, before setting up the CDN, you can test out object cache and make sure it runs okay with your site. So then you want to enable the CDN and then click Mac CDN and hit save. Once that's done, on the left, click CDN. Copy my settings right here and leave this deselected. Here's our authorization key, which consists of three things right here. So we want the Elias, I think it's called, which would be this. So copy that, put it right here, and then put a plus. Next thing is we want this code, which is the key. So go into um, 
your application and you want the consumer key. So go ahead after the plus you want to paste that and then put another plus and the next thing will be the secret which will be the consumer secret. So W3 total cash will validate this. Key is valid. And then the last thing I want to do is enter this right here, which will just be the CDN URL on the other dashboard. So there we have it. You can test your CDN if you like. And when you're done, just save all settings. And now you have your Mac CDN integrated with W3 Total Cash. So if you run into any problems, you can leave me a comment below, or Mac CDN also has really good support.